so I'm going to be on the run here this weekend, kind of busy on my end. I have two projects going up this weekend that I hope you guys will enjoy. But in the meantime, I want to take some time to talk about something that's just downright weird when it comes to the future of Warzone and Vanguard. That being that despite all our discussion here, all the indications we've seen previously in regards to when this could be happening, were we actually wrong about the Vanguard integration with Warzone? That said, as we go along, let me know your thoughts down below. Do you think that anything will change here out of what seems to be the mold going forward? Are you looking forward to anything in particular with the integration? Whatever the case may be, drop your thoughts below. But if you enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like down below. And of course, if you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a single thing getting all things Warzone, Vanguard, and the inevitable integration of both of those. We're coming up on launch very fast here, just two weeks away now. Kind of crazy to consider. So if you're interested, hit that subscribe button. And also, my friends over at G Fuel bumped up code ESPRESSO to 30% off your entire order. So if you guys want to restock or try something out for the very first time ahead of the launch of Vanguard, now is the best time to do so. Save yourself a little bit of extra cash. That link's in the description below if you guys are interested. That said, let's jump into the discussion at hand. So game dev is a work in progress. It has many moving parts, and one of those many moving parts always ends up being release dates. We've seen it a couple of times here in the last couple of of years that we've had delays, we've had things not really pan out how we thought, and it seems like when we think about the upcoming Vanguard and Warzone integration that it's got both of those things seemingly on the table for discussion. A while back, we had some dates here pulled out in which it indicated a reveal, an alpha, a beta, a launch, and then things like that that came along in succession, and everything from that list previously had checked out. Another date that was tossed out around that time was the date of the Warzone integration, which was tentatively scheduled for I think like 1121, November 21st here, just a couple of weeks after the launch of Call of Duty Vanguard. And that was something that was pretty cool to think about, that we had two and a half weeks or so before the game would change, we'd end up having another major installment and another major introduction in terms of a new map and everything that would come along with that Warzone integration. But that was something that with Season 6 was kind of debunked on that specific date. When we saw Season 6 end up coming over, we saw that that date didn't quite match up with what was on the Battle Pass. And if it's something that follows the integration that we had last year with Black Ops Cold War into Warzone, well, we wouldn't see a seasonal launch or an integration happen before that time. We see that these seasons usually seamlessly transition into one another. So where Vanguard will be launching, up until that point, Vanguard until season one is kind of a season zero. That pattern starting with Modern Warfare, but in terms of the content cycle for Warzone and everything like that, that's still in season six. And so we go from six to one and that reset. Coming along then with whatever happens with that integration via weaponry, maps, anti-cheat, if there's a rank shift again here with this, a third iteration of a fundamental rank changeover. We'll see how that all works out. But that integrations date is something that recently has been in question. Now, that date that the Battle Pass proposes is right around December 1st into December 2nd, which by all accounts makes sense. Of course, like we just mentioned, that seamless transition from 6 to 1 then, that restart with Warzone. We saw that happen last year with Black Ops Cold War's integration, and the dates work out exactly how we've seen here in recent times. An overnight update from the 1st into the 2nd, perhaps, here at this, and so therefore allowing it for it to be that Wednesday night into Thursday night update. That's something that has kind of become standard here out of the last year and a half or so since the pandemic started and so far there doesn't seem to be really any indication that would say this is going back to those Tuesday afternoon updates. Personally, I like saving my sleep schedule. I liked not having to be up all night to make update videos, but that's a very unique situation and for a lot of people, it doesn't really matter. It's either during the day when they're working or during the night when they're sleeping. So, kind of a lose-lose situation there if you want to jump on immediately, but that said, if it is an overnight update, again, it follows that usual and most recent patterns we've seen with Call of Duty. However, there has been some information recently that was data mined from the game files, specifically of Season 6 and Warzone, that make this a little interesting. It brings the possibility of a different date into question. Zesty Cod leaks a data miner we've talked about here on the channel. I ended up digging through those files here with the Season 6 update and ended up seeing some information discussing a Chapter 3 in the game files for Warzone, stating Vanguard is coming, Chapter 3 coming December 7th. Now, that would be a huge curveball because, by all accounts, what we had seen already sort of correcting the previous rumor 
then brings that potentially into the light of correcting another date. And right off the bat, this got some attention here because, well, chapter three seems to be something larger here. Chapter three, in my opinion and my guess, would deal with Vanguard. Of course, not only being the following segment of code after the string saying Vanguard is coming, but Modern Warfare would have been chapter one. Black Ops Cold War would have been chapter two. And then chapter three, likely again, Vanguard here at this. So assuming there's nothing big here, why does it have that announcement in the game files of December 7th? Admittedly, that's just downright confusing because, again, as we talked about, in the game right now, the Battle Pass showcases an end date of the first going into the second. That's something that follows all the patterns we've seen so far, but when you take a look at the 7th, that's a Tuesday into a Wednesday. So, again, kind of an off-balance thing here, but for whatever reason, is listed in the game files as such. So it adds a lot of questions to the equation here, but to make things even more complicated, even more curious, usually when we see things in the game files, it's an accurate indication in some regard of when things will be coming. But COD Tracker, the website that we've talked about here on the channel that has utilized Activision and Call of Duty's API to showcase things like blueprints and everything like that as soon as they're added in the game files. It's rumored there's some communication there with this in which just like Charlie Intel, there's the confirmation or dispelling of information here if asked about. COD Tracker ended up also tweeting in regard to that, rumors suggesting Warzone integration with Vanguard on December 7th are false. Remain tentative, friends. So it seems like just when we figured everything out here, or at least we had a relative understanding of how things would work, some things get turned up on their heads here at this. Now, of course, we do know that when it comes to the integration, we do have a lot on deck. We, of course, have that brand new Warzone Pacific map. That is something that is going to hopefully change a lot of how Warzone is played here in regards to, well, just being an entirely new environment, a new world to explore. You don't know every nook and cranny from the last year and a half of playing. That's going to introduce that new Ricochet anti-cheat, which again, I have some high hopes for, but whether or not that's met or not, we'll have to wait and see. We'll have that integration with all the weapons in Vanguard coming over into Warzone. We'll potentially have that rank shift and everything that goes along with it. But just when you thought you had everything figured out, man, of course this happens. Now we have seen delays in the past, so it is possible this is something that is pushed back ever so slightly. Slightly, but for right now, just know that it might be up in the air here. Might be still moving parts to all of this. So that said, that's where we're going to wrap it up. I just want to talk to you guys casually about this and let you know some of the stuff that's been going on in the community here with this. Again, as we mentioned in the intro of the video, pretty busy week here on my end, but wanted to bring this up here before we jumped into some more so larger form projects that aren't necessarily based on current events within Call of Duty. So let me know your thoughts down below. We're going to be jumping into a lot of stuff here, gearing up for Vanguard starting probably as of next week. So hopefully see it for all of that. But if you enjoy the video, make sure drop a like down below subscribe to the channel if you guys are new and want to stay with all things warzone vanguard the integration for both whatever the case may be if you're interested hit that subscribe button if you also want to follow me over on twitter and instagram those are the best place to chat with me outside of youtube so if you guys want to strike a conversation ask me a question whatever the case may be that link is down there in the description below that said thanks so much for watching my name is espresso i'll see you guys later take care and peace